Does it need me? Is does it need me? Well, I need some Coke Zero, so too bad you're going to have to wait. Blah! <laughs> Hey, what's up you guys? This is Rob from Gay Guy Plays, and today on The Daily Grind, we're going to be doing a bit of rivening and also revisiting at the same time. Um, there's actually one weapon that kind of has gone down in the history of primary weapons, at least in, in my feels, uh, that's actually absolutely terrible and almost completely unusable. And that would be the Panthera. So when somebody um, had actually offered up a ribbon of the Panthera to me, I was thinking in my head, I was like, God, it's bad. But you know what? That's the big thing about ribbons. It's about taking um, bad weapons and making them usable. So I was like crossing my fingers, like, okay, this has got to be a strong disposition. It's probably going to have really, really good stats on it. So let's give it a shot and let's see if we can't revisit the Panthera and do something absolutely amazing with it and turn it into a big old powerhouse. So um, in fact, let's take a quick look at the Panthera real quick. Um, I've been doing a whole bunch of farm, 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 farm for that Kuva. As you can see, I literally had just stuck, um, ooh, four forma on it. <laughs> um, I'm trying to position it as a status weapon because literally, as you can see, it has no crit chance. It has no crit multiplier on its own. I believe it's only got 10% um, status. And I'm like, try, like, I'm trying to give it something, anything that I can get my hands on. Right now, as it comes down to, like, the actual weapon itself, we are trying to roll it with multi-shots and damage. That's really all that I can get it. Any crit mods is really not going to do very much for it. It's all about that base damage, multi-shot, um, maybe even a little bit of fire rate, I noticed. Um... So for those of you who don't know what the Panthera is, it basically shoots out razor blade discs, um, very similar to the Mitre, except it's automatic, so there's no charging involved or anything, but also it's secondary, it's secondary, um, what is it called? Secondary fire actually has a uh, bit of kind of like a channeled effect on it, I don't know how to say it, it's like a... It's like a damage per second thing where it shoots out one of the blades and it keeps it rotating there to kind of like almost chainsaw an enemy with. Except for the fact that the damage on that isn't spectacular either. Now, um, as you guys can see, since the update came out today, just wanted to give you a heads up. There is a new Arc Melee mod that is out, which is Astral Autopsy, which basically pulls a Heliocore, turns any of your, um, turns any of your Arcwing Melees into the Heliocore. It gives it a little bit of the Heliocore effect. Uh, but, you know, we'll, I don't know, maybe we'll talk about that in a different video, but let's go ahead and grab this Panthera and l let's start rolling. So happily, there's nothing on this right now. Um, we're down to, we're back up to 104,000 Kuva. Um, so I want to try to... Try, I, I'm hoping that it doesn't take too long to get too many rolls on this and then because I've like pre uh, formed it and everything we can take it out on a mission and see how it does so cross your fingers for me let's see how this goes ah, I choked on my own words all right base damage flight speed maybe maybe a little flight speed what did we get we got multi shot it's not oh negative damage that's not look at look at the critical damage on that and the fire it was like good 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 no <laughs> so we are not gonna take that but actually let me go ahead and um, fuse this all the way up so that we can get a better look at what the effects will be let's go ahead and do that um, so right now we're sitting at really really fast flight speed which is quite nice really fast fire weight Wait, fi file weight, <laughs> fire rate, really crappy damage to infested. That that kind of hurts. Um, ammo maximum. I don't really feel like that does too much to it. But hopefully we can roll some. We can roll some decent rolls, and hopefully we won't take too much Kuva. Because as you guys can see, I've got a whole bunch of more ribbons that we need to go ahead and take a look at. Um, damage to corpus and reload speed. No, thank you. No, thank you at all. Not that this is any better. Not that this stinking piece of crap is any better, but neither of them are worth settling for, to be honest with you. I always get, I always get the criticisms. I always get the criticisms. Oh, that might not be terrible. I mean, yes, that does absolutely jack dick for us. 198.6 critical chance. But the 261% damage is not bad at all in the reload speed. That negative damage to Corpus, though, oh, well, it's almost as bad as negative damage to Infested, so let's just take this for now. This is a for now. 
I always get all of those people that get really antsy and really crazy. Well, don't you know if you uh, take this for the, this, you took the wrong role for that second role. You should have taken this other one. I even though in the end you got came out with the best ribbon out of all of them. No, shut the fuck up. Just uh, let me let me do this. Let me do this. We're gonna roll this till it's good. <gasps> okay. I mean this is better. Well, there's no negative damage to. I'm gonna. I I can hear those people right now. I'm gonna take this purely due to the fact that it says. Pura, pura, like it's a purr. I can't, I can't roll my arms. Pura, 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 I can't do it. I'm trying. I'm taking this because it has no negatives at the moment. Don't worry. We're gonna keep re-rolling. It's not. It's this is not its final form. Um. Oh. Okay. We might be able to roll with this. We might be able to roll with this. 243 damage ni minus 95.3 status chance. Maybe we don't need that. We probably need status chance. <laughs> let's keep let's keep rolling this till we possibly get something a little bit better. But this so far out of everything I feel has been is pretty fucking damn strong. I know, I mean, it's 10% status chance that takes it down to like what? Like 2.5? I'm curious. Is my math right? Let's, let's find out. Hold on. I'm, I'm curious to see if my math on this is right. Um, upgrade. All right, let's take out everything. I'm just going to look at the ribbon at its base. So right now it's at 10%. So I'm assuming that it's going to be like 9. Oh, this is another part of the update. Good. I'm just showing you all the cool things with the updates. So basically, whenever you have a mod that has a specific polarity, when you pick it up, it will highlight all of the places that you can go and get a discount on it. It's 0.5%. Okay, well, my, my math is super, super, super wrong. <laughs> but it's okay. All right, so let's go ahead and try it. Let's go ahead and try that ribbon a couple more times and see if we can't get anything good out of it. We'll do like, we'll do like a 10 roll. I know, let's see how, how far down I am. Oh, by the way, you guys weren't there on the stream. But yesterday when I was talking about a ribbon for the Twin Gracadas, this was not gifted. Well, this was gifted to me by RNGs. He, he graced me with his love. Um, so we actually got a twin Gracadas one that I cannot wait to reroll. But I figured I'll do some revisiting of weapons that I was not super, super fond of first. And then we'll uh, move on from there. So let's see if we can get something better. Maybe no negatives. The status chance. It needs something. It needs some help. That base damage is pretty fucking amazing though. Damage to infested reload speed. No, thank you. We're gonna stick with that. This is kind of like we're just going through the motions just to see if there's anything that you know might come up within the next few rolls that is. Bleh. Motherfucker. I wanna say yes. I wanna say yes real bad, but that 243. Okay, so this is the way that I think about it this way. All right, so 243% damage is basically... Okay, so multi-shot is like 100% multi-shot is basically like throwing another disc. So that's like another 100% damage. All right, I'm just going to take this. The status chance hurts me. The status chance hurts me. The status chance hurts me. That flight speed is real fucking good, though. That flight speed is real fucking good, though. Ah, I like it. I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted, but I know. I know. This is my ribbon. Nah, fuck this. It needs all the help that it can get. <laughs> it needs all the help that it can get. We're going to keep rolling it. Um, three. I think we got two more rolls in this. Magazine capacity, 242% slash. Uh, no, that does not beat 243 base damage. Okay. Like, we're just going to go for pure, raw, heated, fiery damage on this thing. 95.3% sad chance that hurts my soul, though. I don't care about... No, I don't... No. No thanks. No thank you. Alright. And we've got one last roll on this, baby. Let's see how it feels. Fire rate, flight speed. It really wants to give me flight speed, and I really want to take flight speed. I really do want to take flight speed. I do, I do, I do! But, uh, we're gonna take this, because, like I said, it needs all of the help that it can get, and I'm not sure if status is enough. It's It's got 10% base status. I don't know how much that's gonna be to carry it all the way through, but if that's the case, we might even have to swap up mods just a little bit, mainly because of the fact that, um, there's no status chance, and I'm using status chance pumping mods at the moment just to make, just to make something out of it. Just to make something out of it. But still, it's still 32%. Wait, without it... It's like 46%. Oh, okay. That's not... 
That's not terrible. Let's, I mean, let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. It's a little, I, oh, I gotta, I gotta move some things around or else I'm making the wrong, I'm making the wrong elemental combos. Hold on. Let's swap, swap things out. Okay. Did, did, did it, did it, wait, wait, wait. Okay. You go here. Um, what am I gonna do? So, uh. We'll just go with Corrosive for now and then possibly swap it up. I mean, I could put a Flight Speed mod on it, but you know, you know, let's, what's Terminal Wall Velocity? 60% Flight Speed? Is it really worth it? Yes. Let's, let's try it with Terminal Velocity, you guys. I know, we, if it does fine here, let's say that this way. If it does fine here, let's, actually, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, let's just go with that for now. And let's see how I feel about flight speed. We're not going to bring anything else in there. Maybe something for life strike, just in case. Just just in case. You, you got something good. You already matched. You're, you're a part of the family. Perfect. <laughs> so let's jump to mod. What build am I using? I'm probably going to just use a radial disarm build just to get everything clumped up. Because this does fairly well when things are clumped up. So I'm already there from leveling the weapon. But yeah, that's the thing I really wanted to take a look at. I really was not fond of this weapon whatsoever, and there are so many weapons that I'm not fond of. And I was thinking, you know, we can revisit them as well. We're gonna do Oxomoko, actually. We'll just do Oxomoko. Is there an exterminate that's like higher? No interception? I don't really wanna have to like sit there and survive for five minutes. I just wanna kill some shit and just be done with that. Ah, I'm gonna get shit from you guys if I fucking don't do. I'm just gonna do five minutes in this session, okay? I'm not trying to go for a super run. We're just gonna see how this does on Mott. <laughs> but yeah, there are lots of weapons out there that I always thought had really, really interesting mechanics. And I just never went for them because of the fact that they didn't have a lot of, you know, damage. Now, of course, clearly this, um, clearly this, this, uh, the Panthera, or this weapon, with when it comes down to ribbons, has a strong disposition. I'm assuming. I should probably double, triple check before I leave, but I'm I'm assuming it's got a strong disposition because it's a pretty shitty weapon. So I'm kind of crossing my fingers at the fact that this this could possibly be, you know, let's just. I mean that that did a thing. That that I mean oh that was that that seemed all right. Let's. <laughs> Okay, now secondary fire is still absolute shit against level 40s. Yeah, yeah, still, still, and that's the, those aren't even heavies, which which makes me very paranoid to see to see how this weapon would perform otherwise. Um, I think its main damage is definitely going to come from its just normal disc shooting. So maybe that's what we should have focused on when we went for uh, when we went for things. But the notice, the thing that I also noticed on this that kind of like killed my soul was the fact that was the fact that uh, this is primarily like um, how do I put this? It this is primarily it 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 does not sh it does not like it doesn't look like it penetrates through enemies even though it's got the shred mod on, which really hurts my soul because legitimately I feel like I mean if I'm shooting a disc through things. And it's and it's got you know some punch through to it. It should be able to penetrate, right? That's that's what I'm thinking. This is, and look at that. Oh, like with with the riven, and it just kind of goes to highlight how bad the weapon is when you can get a 200% riven that also has um that also has fire damage on top of it. You know what I mean? It's got fire damage on top of it. It's like it would be an amazing riven for any other weapon, but because of the fact that it's for the Panthera. The weapon is just still absolute kind of shit. Look, look at that. Did you see? It did like absolutely no damage. That was ab terrifying. I, I can't wait to see. Well, I can wait actually to see how shit this is going to be um, on on like heavy enemies. Because right now these are just the grunts, right? Like they should have a, a riven disposition for utter crap. This should be this should be like... We're sorry you you have this weapon. We're sorry this this weapon still exists in your um in your inventory. So here have this weapon. What what is wrong with you? You're you're very very confused. Oh. See, and I keep getting confused between its fire modes cuz I really feel like it's like bladey fire mode should be its secondary. 
At least that's how it feels in my body, but we'll see. All right, here comes, here comes what's his face. Let's let's try let's try to kill him with the the razor blade thing. Let's see how let's see how long this. What, what, can you can you please? Can can you please can you please not? Can you? I'm I'm in the middle of trying to kill you. Can you uh, do me a favor and come back here and let me kill you, please? Thank you. Okay. I mean, I mean it's still utterly disappointing. I feel like it could have been any other weapon and it would have would have killed him by now. Like I think I could have probably meleeed him to death in the time that is taking me to kill him. Listen, I'm in the middle of something. Wait, wait, wait. Can you? I'm I'm trying to kill you, please. Did he? Are you, wait, are you? Now you are. Thank you. You're done. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, as we can see, this is not <laughs> doing... It's trying. That's the big issue, is it's trying. And I'm wondering if maybe status, if status chance would have helped it out a little bit more to maybe chew through some armor or um, give it some more slash box or something. Maybe we'll try to re-roll this again in the future because I still feel like its performance is very underwhelming. You know, I mean, it's like, it's supposed to be a chainsaw for heaven's sakes, right? I mean, it is technically, if you look at the build, it uses, uh, the, the, what is it called? Oh my god, what's that shitty weapon? The, the, uh, the miter. It uses the miter and the hiku, so maybe it's trying to, maybe that's the flaw in this weapon. Is, it is trying to saw enemies in half with a hiku. <laughs> and, uh, we all know them as throwing stars, for those of you who do not know. So you're literally trying to chainsaw enemies with the throwing star. So maybe, maybe that's the flaw, the the design flaw. Is don't don't necessarily don't necessarily try to uh, design a chainsaw with throwing stars. You know, maybe that's not. You know, maybe our engineers should have taken a look at that real quick because uh, unfortunately this is <laughs> it's really not doing work. Oh, I'm so sorry, Panthera. I was really hoping, too. I was really hoping that this was going to be one of those moments where I'm like, Oh my god, this ribbon is so insanely good. Like, almost 250 damage. Almost 250 damage. And we've also got, um... What is it called? Almost 250 damage. And we've almost got, uh... And, and, and we've got, I think, fire damage and slash damage. Do we have slash damage on this? I think we have both fire and slash damage on this. And uh, I was like, wow, it's going to be a game changer. It's going to change the world. But even even when I was talking about it earlier, it needs all the help that it can get. And right now, it still feels like it needs all the help it can get. Um, just, I mean, just it's supplemental stats. And you know what? That's the thing. I think a lot of people don't necessarily give, well, you know what? They give, they give slash procs. They give, they give, they give slash based status weapons. Um, and toxin based status weapons a lot of credit, but they don't and they give crit a lot of credit But just in general in general in general uh, in general status is a better supplemental stat than it used to be um, But this is kind of like this is This is kind of like how how it was like look at this. This is this is a terrible This is like I'm thinking if they gave this weapon maybe 10% more status 10% more status it would be, it would be, it could, it has the potential to be absolutely devastating. And it looks like it almost bounces off of its initial shot instead of having any kind of punch through effect. Kind of like, um, like if you think about a, a glaive with a bounce mod on it, or just a glaive in general. Um, because you know, for these kind of weapons, it's almost nice to have a, just a straight line punch through. Kind of like when you put a quick return on a throwing weapon. You know, you feel like you have a lot more control of it. But in this case, when it's punched through, doesn't even... Because when you think you're going to put punch through on this kind of weapon, you think that it's going to go through a couple targets, right? It doesn't feel that way. And I'm, I'm not going to lie, I can't 100% see it. Not not that it's really making too much more of a difference, because if you look at that, it that we're, we're at a level 42, and heavy units are still... A, it seems to be a chore for this weapon still. You know? And I really don't feel that at this level, um, you know... Uh, a weapon should be that far behind and you know what maybe let's give it another shot real quick we'll, we'll do another quick run of it with um just a purely damage based weapon you know what i mean we'll just we'll mod for damage and we'll see what happens there we're not gonna we're not gonna try to push status on it we're just gonna kind of go with full-on damage and see if that changes 
see if that changes anything. Because at this point in time, really, where, where, where are you? Where are you going? All right, let's 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 get our butts out of here real quick. Come on, I just want to kill you. Whoa, that just was painful. <laughs> that was absolutely painful. You know what's really funny though, and I have to I have to point this out because. I remember it back from the dev stream way back in the day, and it was a little bit nostalgic on the last, um, on my last stream, which was like Tuesday night stream, um, and we were actually talking about a lot of ways that the game has changed, and one of them was kind of like, with the introduction of parkour. Now for me, I never really, um, I never really coptered, I wasn't a coptering kid, so that didn't change very much for me at all, but that moment right there that you saw me, I was like, oh, well to get up to that second story, I'm gonna jump on this, I'm gonna wall cling, and then I'm gonna jump on over to the second platform. It's funny because I didn't think about it until that point right there where I was like, well, you know what? You wouldn't have been able to do that before. So when they said that Parkour 2.0 completely changes the way that you traverse areas, I was like, yeah, yeah it does. Good job, DE. Little minor retrospect thought right there. Um, let's go ahead and toss some more damage on this. So let's let's look at that mod again. So it's 181 slash 127 or 184 slash 127 heat, 243 percent damage. So that damage technically amplifies both of those statistics because I believe that those are just base statistics. Um, so I don't know. Let's just go for. Can I can I even go for base damage? I don't even know if I, I, I don't think I, I think I would have to form with this a couple more times to get a little bit more base damage on there, but let's uh, give it a sh- no, 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 I'm, cause, because I clearly cannot read <laughs> my own mods. Um, that really doesn't give that much more and it just takes away from status, so I think, I think we're gonna call it here and say that this was a bit of a flub. I'm very, very sad that the Panther couldn't pick it up. Maybe in a future episode, we will try to, <laughs> maybe we'll have a role that's just like, best of the worst, or better than the worst, where we take all of the terrible weapons that we have and try to reroll them into something even better than what they currently have. Because I still feel like that's a really, really good ribbon. It's just unfortunate that the weapon itself could not kind of <sighs> compensate. Oh, that's a, such a sad way to end this episode. But you know what? There are future weapons to reroll. There are so many other things to, re uh, to revisit. So let me know if there are any Warframes or weapons that you want to see me revisit in the comments below. Um, I, there, I have a bunch of ribbons that I need to touch on too, so let me know if you saw anything as I was scrolling through the You're like, oh, you should revisit that weapon. Let me know. But as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your body. And anybody else's that will allow you to consent, but only in a good way. Okay. Y yes, everything is in order. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye. What was that? Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Uh...